In this video, I want to look at a library resource, a book from the library catalog that I found and incorporated in the research for my street art analysis sample. So you can see that I found a book that was a background source on Chicano murals. It doesn't specifically talk about the mural that I write about, but it does give me broad background about the art form and the historical and cultural context. So in many ways, it was ideal for my project. You will notice that I have a correctly formatted MLA citation here. I used the library website for that, and I included the samples in the instructions for researching this project. I also have made part of that MLA citation a live link, so someone can click on this and go to the library and see my source. And there is my source. This is a cool source because it's electronic. I can click in there and actually read the text. You're going to see that's very important as I talk about the different ways that this text connects to this research project. You can also see some of the search terms. I actually entered Chicano murals and it took me here. Um, so this is this is a really cool tool. I could have got to it other ways. A search for Chicano Park murals, Mexican American murals. There are a lot of ways to get to this source in our catalog. A lot of different searches that I could try. Being able to see the actual text, look at it electronically, or go to the library to flip through the pages is vital, obviously, because now I need to evaluate the text. So you can see I start off with currency. I talk about how it's eight years old, but it's still valuable. Uh, I talk about the supplemental resources, over 20 pages of notes and a 12-page bibliography. I talk about bias. I mentioned that it does have a pretty clear bias. It's enthusiastically celebrating Chicano culture, but then I talk about how it tries to limit that bias by framing it with the detailed research that I mentioned in the previous sentence. One thing that you're going to need to do, especially if you're going to validate the authority of your source, is a little uh, Google research. So I went and looked up Gisela Latore, found out where she was teaching and what she's teaching, what her expertise is. Sometimes you can also find that on the back cover, the back jacket of the book or somewhere inside the book. But now Google is such an easy way to do it. And so I incorporated a sentence about her expertise, why she has the authority to write this book and we should take it seriously. Um, so those are the four criteria, right? Uh, currency, authority, uh, supplemental resources, and efforts to address uh, um, bias. But I also include a sentence or two that tells the reader how I use this source. Why is this source useful background? If I didn't actually quote or paraphrase it in my sample analysis itself, why have I provided it to the reader as a possible research tool? So there you have it, a rough sense of how a library catalog can take us to a book that can provide vital context for our art analysis. In this case, I found one book that looked at the art form, murals, but also looked at the important cultural historical context, the Chicano mural, the Chicano rights movement. Hope this helps move you on your way, understanding, of course, that your situation will be individual and different. And that's where a research librarian or some outreach to your beloved American Studies prof can be helpful. See you in Blackboard and or the library.